Welcome to Frame Machine Part 2. You guys are on the Good Old Boys YouTube channel. Before you skip ahead, if you're looking for any of the other videos on this particular Frame Machine, they'll be in the description box below. If you guys watched the first video, you already know we went through the hydraulic release uh, valve body. In this video, we're going to be going through the actual hydraulic pump itself. And then the last couple of videos are going to be tearing down, uh, rebuilding, and putting back together the hydraulic cylinders themselves, as well as where to get parts for the uh, frame machine itself. So if you guys are looking for any of the other videos, they'll be in the description box below, so don't forget to go check them out. Here we go, again, part two, we're working on the hydraulic pump. Okay, right here you can see I tested it. Okay, I thought I was done. I thought that I had it all figured out but it wasn't building enough pressure to run the hydraulics themselves so what i had to do here is take the pump apart figure out what was going on with it it did have a couple broken springs and needed gone through um so first of all you have to take off this elbow that i'm grabbing right here it's a 90 degree elbow take that loose first and you can see I just took it off there so that helps you get the pump off basically you can't take the pump off without taking that elbow off all right and now there's star bits I'm not sure what size but it's simple enough guys just uh, feel it out so I wanted to add some clarity to this part of the video so basically the only bolts you're going to be taking out are the allen head style bolts there's five of these allen head style bolts there's four of them in each corner of the high pressure pump so you're taking those first four out uh, you're going to notice that there's some star bit bolts in the center you don't want to mess with those there's seven of them one in the center and then six in a circle make sure you don't strip these out so there's a couple long bolts the long bolts hold the pump um, to the motor and then the short bolts actually hold the pump together we'll get to the short bolts later but right here you can see i've got all the long bolts out and i pulled the high pressure into the pump out of the uh whole pump itself so like i said with those four allen head bolts that are longer you can remove the high pressure pump from the low pressure side of the pump so at this point when you're pulling the high pressure pump apart from the low pressure pump you want to be careful there's a couple things to look for so number one, you have an O-ring. I'll show you where that goes later in the video. You also have a spring and a check ball. I'll just have to show you guys later in the video, which I do. So just hang in there. Just remember there's an O-ring, a uh, check ball, and a spring that you're looking for that will fall out when you pull the high pressure pump away from the low pressure end of the pump. You can see the little silver things sticking up. Those are the high pressure pistons. So if those have any kind of looseness, uh, your pump is probably not going to build pressure, and that could be a reason. So there's more stuff up in the pump, of course. I dropped a bolt in the oil there. <laughs> there's one bolt that's in a weird spot. Um, so you got to take that out, and then the whole pump comes off there. So this last bolt I'm talking about here that removes the entire pump body from the uh, electric motor side of the pump uh, is fairly easy to see and it's pretty obvious which one it is. Number one, it's an Allen head bolt. It's longer and you guys will notice it has a silver uh, spacer as well as a washer on it. So you take that one last Allen bolt out and the whole pump uh, will slide off of the motor. Trust me, you guys will find all the bolts they're in a pretty obvious spot there's just one bolt that doesn't hold the high pressure pump on uh so now you can see here i've got the key this is a super special key for the motor shaft it runs the high pressure and low pressure uh end of the pump here you can see that's the low pressure uh, side of the pump that I'm holding right there. It's just like a uh, an oil pump in a car or truck. <laughs> it's just basically a uh, finely machined gear 
and it's a, a gear pump and I believe I show you guys the other part of it but if you guys have ever seen a, a geared oil pump that's exactly what it is so we're about to get into it here so I'm sure I'll show you guys here so once again we have the gear and the key laying right there and if you look closely inside the pump there there's the outer gear which is supposed to spin freely in there so i'm showing you the gear right there and i spin it around a little bit I'll show so you guys that with every gear operated oil pump you have two parts to it of course all right so that's the big gear there's really nothing to the top end and you can see right here this is how it works it works so like it a around oil pump on basically a car. that's what causes the oil to build low pressure so, uh, I can get it back apart low pressure so set. that's that um, we'll keep moving on all right now this is bottom side this piece that I'm pointing to in here uh, it's got a lot of small pieces that you need to know where they go which will be hopefully going over that in detail here um, but this this piece here is not um, how do I want to say this it's not symmetrical or not level it's basically off camber so when it rotates it moves the pistons the high pressure pistons that I was showing you guys earlier um, these guys right here the three pistons and the high pressure into the pump so we'll keep trucking here right here I flip the pump over and these pieces will just fall out so what we've got is first of all this is a needle bearing so there's actually another metal washer uh, or spacer washer so this is the needle bearing that I'm grabbing with my two fingers. The spacer washer is still up in the other end of the pump here. And I don't know if I realized that at this point or not, but later on I had to take the pump apart a couple times and I found out. So right down in here, this is where I was explaining to you guys. Right down in the pump here, that's where the other spacer or washer is that this needle bearing rides on so keep that in mind all right so the needle bearing that's what it looks like goes right on there okay there's another uh spacer washer that i'm pointing to right there it's kind of hard to see but it's right where the needle bearing goes so right there under the needle bearing that's where that washer is so keep moving on on the other side of things if i take it apart there's another uh couple things going on here first of all you have the small bearing in the center then um you have a washer for the other needle bearing to ride on to so small bearing um, right there then the washer and then the needle bearing rides on that washer so hopefully you guys are following along this is the other needle bearing here I dropped it of course so I'll, I'll clean that later on and then you have a very special shaped washer and you guys notice that that center part is out of it so you can see there's a little chamfer there that special piece goes in the chamfer so the flat side goes down on top of that um, needle bearing there just like that okay and then right here you guys can see the special piece it's got a protruding part that fits in that small bearing in the very center and it's got a couple steps machined into it and so it fits right into there i'll get you guys a better view here so it fits right into there just like so okay so that's uh that's part of the pump right there now the high pressure pump itself is kind of special so we're going to be moving on to that next 
So a couple things here, guys. Um, every one of these uh, bolts and set screws, for example, this black bolt right here, there is a, uh, I forget exactly where all the detents and springs are, but there's, I believe there's a spring in this one here for the high pressure outlet. So there's a, um, there should be a little ball and there should be a spring in there and nothing should be broken or out of place. And then also, of course, on the side here, there's high pressure release. Altogether, there's three springs and, and uh, they're not really check balls, but they're like pressure release balls um, and springs that are in those pockets, which I'll be showing you guys. So right now I'm just cleaning the outside of the thing off there. And uh, you guys already basically more or less know how to put it back together there. So there's that spacer washer that I was talking about there that was down in the pump. I actually ended up getting it out. So you have that spacer washer, the needle bearing. There's another spacer washer that I was trying to get off here. Wouldn't come off, so I left it. Um, then you have the spacer washer on the other side, small bearing, the other needle bearing, the special washer, and then this small piece that goes in the center. So I'm just lubing all that stuff up. Putting it back together there. Now the key, the key goes in there a certain special way. And this, what I'm showing you here is that you have to line up the small gear on the, on the, uh, low pressure oil pump. You have to line it up with the hole that's machined in the pump, obviously. All right. And I'll, we'll talk about the key and the way that the, uh, key goes later on in the video. So this part just slips in there like that. You guys can really see the off camber that pumps the high pressure pistons right here. So you just slip that in there, right? Okay, and then on this end, this is the key. So the key is gonna go in there. Let me see if I can get you guys a good shot. All right, right here. So if I move this, you guys can see there's the end with a smaller length key and the end with the larger length key. And the end with the larger length key has the small key closer to it that the middle key is is closer to the, the large key well you go you guys can see it there so basically what you want to do here is the small end of the key that's also got a chamfer you guys see where my index finger is here it's got a chamfer right there on the end so when you slide it on the pump it slides on easy so right like that the long end of the key goes in there like that, okay? So it takes a few tries, don't get frustrated, that's just how it is. It's a royal pain in the butt. So I'm lubing everything up, slipping that back on there. Um, and then I take the one weird bolt, It's I guess it's not really weird, it's got this extra stuff on it. You guys see the spacer and the washer right here between my thumb and middle finger and uh, basically what that does is hold the low pressure into the pump on the machine okay now this right here is these are a few things that i uh didn't mention and have to go over so you have a ball here a spring and an o-ring right so you got to be really careful make sure you get this stuff in here the correct order so I guess um, we'll be going over that later because those go between the high pressure and low pressure pump. So right now we're looking at the high pressure pump. So there's uh, what seven bolts that you have to take off, one in the center and six uh, 
in a circle. Once those are off, you'll see that a spring and uh, some check balls fell out of there. So this is your high pressure valve body here. Here we go. You guys can see a lot better here. So this is what it looks like. The valve body, the main valve body of the high pressure pump here is very simple itself. Alrighty, so first of all, I wanna thank you guys for watching. We are gonna continue working on the hydraulic pump in the next video. Uh, you guys know the deal. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if this video will help you out in any way. Uh, and don't forget to go down to the description box. Again, all the videos are linked below. I can't stress that enough. No matter what video you guys click on, I'm always going to have the other videos of this series in the description box below. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Woo!